taking a walk in the garden today. Let's see what's growing on. And with me today, I have my little boy Darius that's gonna help us edit this video. So, tell them that we're looking at some peppers. Peppers. And yeah. You help plant the peppers, right? Peppers. Yes. Green peppers. And we have weary, weary pepper. Pepper. Very flavorful in our seasoning today. What's that? What's that? It's a watermelon. Watermelon. It's our very first watermelon. You're gonna tell them you helped planted it, right? It's one there. Yes, and we got beans, long beans. Beans. Yes. We're gonna cook it up. It's yummy, right? Yummy. And we're gonna eat it. Yeah. So it's but always been a lot easy one than the whole wheel is easy. And then on the other side we have some drying, and we're gonna plant this for next season, right? We're gonna plant some more long beans. Beans. Yeah. Have some spinach in the between, in the middle. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is what? We got golden apple. Apple. Juju. No, this is a uh, golden apple or June plum, right? Oh. So this is June plum. Two yes. It's so It's yummy. Yummy. Two. More flowers are coming. Flowers. Flowers. And coming. we're gonna get more June plum. It's June a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. What color is that? It's red. Awesome. It is red and it's ripening, and we're gonna eat it soon, right? What's this one? This is papaya. Papaya. Yes. You like papaya? Papaya. Papaya. We can cook that also as it is green. Green. Or we can let some of it ripen and then eat it with Darius. Darius. Yeah. More papaya. Papaya. So, that's the we have here yuka yeah, yeah, I knocked it over by accident and I found a nice tuber. But here we're gonna look at our fish. Can you say fish? Yeah. We're gonna feed the fish, aren't we? Fish.
we have some eggs, fresh eggs from our hens. And this is what we're working with today. Today we're making Caribbean duck, all purpose seasoning. You can use it as a marinade, you can use it to cook with, because we're gonna include just about every main ingredient. So we're gonna tell everybody about our multi-purpose seasoning, right? All-purpose seasoning. Can you say seasoning? And it's Caribbean duck, folks. This is our finished product. This is what we're aiming to get to. Me too. So let's get into it. Sure. We're making our all-purpose Caribbean duck seasoning. Yeah, okay. The rollers. And what we're gonna put here is some um, scallion. Can you say scallion? Scallion. Onions. Onions. Peppers. Peppers. Celery. Celery. Rosemary. Rosemary. Garlic. Garlic. Ginger. Ginger. Thyme. Thyme. Oregano. Oregano. Awesome. Awesome. Basil. Basil. So, like you well, we have some holy basil as well. We're gonna use that for the first time. Usually we use that for teas. So just about all our ingredients are here. I know yes. That was the right pencil. And we have some culantros, Wait, also I... known as bandana, shadow benny. Well, let's get cooking. Now we're not gonna use a lot of that culantro because it's very potent and um, very strong ingredients. We don't wanna overpower our all-purpose seasoning with that. So we're just going with just a few leaves from the garden. And we're adding some more pepper because we like the spicy. Don't we like it spicy? Say spicy. 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 This is parsley. Say parsley. Uh -huh. We're gonna chop, chop, chop. We're gonna rough chop everything, put it in a bowl. Can you say celery? Ouch. Celery? No. Gonna rough cut everything. We have here some wide leaf thyme or Spanish oregano. We're gonna chop that up just as well. A rough cut, because everything is gonna go in the food processor and blend. So we're just adding on the layers. As you guys know, we like seasoning with flavor. This is Caribbean duck style. You gotta make it flavorful. Now you can use this seasoning when we're done with it to cut, cook anything that you like. And scallion, we got scallion. Scallion. Yeah, we're gonna save the ends to replant it. Rough cut everything. So, like this We're chopping it up. Chopping. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. And then we're gonna put it all in the blender. Fine. And Mince it up. It's Here's our culantro. Let's go. We're gonna up. cut it up. And we're not using a lot of these. 
because it's very strong. Oh, we just need a little bit of flavor in. And this is a master ingredient. Can, can you say basil? Basil. We're going to add our rosemary. Can you say rosemary? Rosemary. Yes. Make sure we get every last bit of that rosemary. And we're going in with some thyme, the fine leaf thyme. Can you say garlic? Garlic. Garlic and onions. Onions. And garlic, lots of garlic. A little spinners. Can you say ginger? And this is the best way of cleaning your ginger. Use the spoon and the running water and get the skin off because you don't want to go too deep when you're peeling the ginger. You just want to get that thin skin off. Mm -hmm. Can you say ginger? No, you don't want to say ginger. Ginger is good. Ginger helps fight off disease and germs. We're gonna rough cut everything and put it into our mixture. Make sure we wear our gloves when we're handling these hot pepper. Darius, can you say pepper? Pepper? pepper. Hot, hot pepper. More peppers, right? Want to get it nice and spicy because we're going to use this also as an all purpose marinade. You can marinate your fish, your meat. Yeah. You're going to see in a second how wonderful this looks. Give it a nice toss. 
Make sure everything is mixed. Get some kosher salt. Not gonna go a lot of salt. But the salt is gonna use as a preservative. Now we're going in with some olive oil and grapeseed oil. Nice mixture. Need the oil as a base. Give it one last toss to get the salt mixed in there. We're gonna do this in two separate batches in the food processor. A little bit of paprika. We're gonna hit it up with some black pepper mix. We'll give it the final tossing. A little bit of water. Blend it up and this is what we got. This is what we look like, final product. Check out the consistency. Wish we had smell-o-vision. Or YouTube smell. You could smell this ingredients. Very delicious. It's Caribbean duck style, all-purpose seasoning, folks. I appreciate your comment. Please don't forget, give me a thumbs up, a like, your comment is appreciated, and please do subscribe so we can have more videos out for you, and you can be notified if you ring that bell every time I post something. Thank you, son, for helping me.